Hey, before we get to this podcast, I wanted to let you know that Steve Bailey, who's another Quantrix master, and I will be hosting a Quantrix seminar series in beautiful Salt Lake City on March 25th and 26th of 2020, where you'll get some two-day hands-on training with both he and I, and we will essentially make you Quantrix masters. Uh, the cost is uh, $700 for early bird registration through January 31st, and $900 up until the day of the seminar. If you're interested in joining this seminar, and I hope you are, I hope that you'll go to foresightgroup.com and click on the home page. And right there, you will see the Quantrix seminar series going on in Salt Lake City. So I invite you to attend that. Now onto the podcast. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 302, where I'm going to show you how to aggregate indirectly related matrices with a using as. This is kind of building off of what I showed you in episode 300, as well as episode 301. And another way that you could solve the problem that I presented there in episode 300. Again, I have a matrix that has forecasts and actuals by city and by year, by month. And I want to go ahead and aggregate it by year, by region. And I have a table that maps the city to the appropriate region. So again, I want to aggregate over here my values found over here, say, for forecast. So I showed you how you can do that in the previous episodes by using a select and select list and using some silent functionality. But if you didn't want to use the silent functionality because maybe you're, you didn't really care about your model size or whatever, you could go ahead and you could really use just the simple using as statement with a helper cell, if you will. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say that the solution is equal to, is equal to sum and what I want to sum is I want to sum the forecast here and I want to link items to categories with my using as using items my region here is my item here as my region here and if I go ahead and do that you may be tempted to try that and you'll get a pound size error and the reason why I get a pound size error again is because it's only looking at an array of eight regions here whereas this array has all of the cities all of the months and all of the years. So I'm still getting my pound size error. So if I want to use a using as in this situation, what I need to do is I need to create a helper cell over here in my data matrix. I'm going to call it I'm going to call it region helper. Okay? And my region helper is simply equal to my region here. And the reason why I can do that again is because city is linked here. So an item here is essentially an item over here as I've shown here with this formula. So then what happens is with this item that I'm now linking in my using as to this category of region, I simply select the data region helper. And if I go ahead and I do that and I perform some aggregation on it, then you can see that for region one, I have 1217. So region one is tabletop and Oak City. So if I were to go here and I were to take my type up here, look at forecast, and do 2023 tabletop in Oak City, I get 1217.7, uh, and indeed that is what I'm getting here. If I were to do that for 2024 uh, and sum those values, would I get 1475.1? Yes, I am for 2024. So again, a simple using as with a helper cell is uh, maybe easier to understand than the select list or the select with the silent features that I was showing in the previous two episodes. I came across using the silent and the select list, I think at the start of this last year, 2019. And the reason why I had to use the silent is because I could not afford to put a helper cell into the model, just because it would have exploded exponentially the size of the model. So if you're concerned about the size of your model or the size of your matrices, I would recommend not using necessarily a helper cell. Go ahead and use that select and that at silent functionality that I showed you. But if you really don't care about the size, a simple helper cell with a using as will do the trick. If you have any questions about Quantrix or 
about helper cells or using ASAs or anything in Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me your question. I absolutely love Quantrix. Makes my day every day I get to use it, and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.